I not worth the sacrifice? Am I not worth the sacrifice? Am I not worth your time? Is my lost soul worth that sacrifice? Am I worth that sacrifice? I'm in America. You have the freedom to say it. And you won't. Am I not worth it? Or are only you worthy of his sacrifice? Life is what you make it. <laughs> what a stupid phrase. I mean, if life is what I've made it, then for some reason, I've purposely made my life a living nightmare. I'm always worrying about my family going under. I'm so cautious that I have to watch every word I say. I have to hide my words from ears. I don't even know where they're hiding from. I try so hard to make a living out of every day. I'm sure I have a job, but my meager wage leaves me nothing but debt and a mediocre life. Do you think I want my children to have a life like that? I try to turn on my government, but they don't care what I say. They don't care about the conditions and pains of my life. If I've truly made this life, then what was I thinking? So what do I do? Where do I go? I go to Buddha, a statue of a man who died a hundred years ago. That's where I go. I ask Buddha for help. If I ask my ancestors for help, I get nothing. I desperately, desperately cry out for my gods to help me. But all I get is my conscience telling me that my worries are my own to carry. I didn't know that Jesus wants to carry them for me. Sure, I've seen this man's face on pictures, but I've never heard his significance towards me. I've never been told. Why are my false beliefs that are wearing my life and my family down not worth it? Does the fact that I never want to live up to anything in this life mean anything to anyone but myself? What about my children? and their futures, is it not worth it? Am I not worth the sacrifice? The whole concept of a God who loves and judges seems foolish. How can there be a God who knows all, sees all, and created all, but somehow can overlook the problems that plague my life, this country, this continent was founded by men who ruled from afar with their laws and their documents. And you expect me to believe some almighty God wants me to have a meaningful life. I'm an atheist. I don't believe in your God. It's because I have no choice. Because I choose to live with no purpose. No. Nobody bothered to tell me this God you love so much loves me. Nobody told me he sent his son, his only son, to die for me. I heard a passage from your Bible. It said Christians are God's hands and his feet extended. If this is the case, as I gaze upon your Christianity, all I see is a quadriplegic sitting in a comfy chair, never bothering to stand and feel someone's heart. If Christians were purposed to win souls, why am I standing here, lost, lonely, and rejected? Is my faith and my future not worth your effort? It's not as if I live in some third world country with dangerous people. I'm in Europe. Am I not worth the sacrifice? Am I not worth your time? I've never seen peace, not even once. All around me, all I see are people who fight against their friends and their family. My family died right in front of me, and I'm the only one left. See, in Sudan, their religion acts. No, it demands things from me that I don't want to give, services that I don't even want to perform. And when I do these things, I still feel pain. My daughter, she died at the age of six from malaria, and I from my wife's necks. There's no medication anywhere for me to get to suit her pain, and even if there was, 
probably be fake. I'm always alone. All around me, all I see is this rough terrain, and I feel if I could climb the highest mountain, if I could fight off the hardest climate, I just fall deeper and deeper in that pain. I'd never heard of Jesus. I'd never even seen his face or heard of his love. I never knew someone like him would die for someone like me. Why would he? Nobody ever told me he would. Are my dead family enough? Is my lost soul worth that sacrifice? Am I worth that sacrifice? It amazes me, the beauty of this. Not people realize it, but it's just a key, a piece of metal that unlocks some random door to some unknown house where some unknown family used to live. It's unknown, out of sight, out of mind. But the truth is, this key used to unlock my door to my house where my family used to live. A year ago, I lost my family. My husband and I have been struggling for a long time, and finally years of backed up bills have begun to knock on our front door and demand my stuff in return for payment. They took everything material away from me, and my husband took the rest. My four kids, my home, and all my dreams of a happy family. A life that took a lifetime to build was gone within a matter of days. So I'm left with this useless key to an empty house with nothing in it but the footsteps of my family walking out the front door of my life forever. How am I supposed to believe in a God who loves me when no one takes the time to show me? Sure, I've heard his name, but is that all he is to you? A name? Does he love me? Where are his people to show me this unfailing love? I'm in America! You have the freedom to say it, and you won't. Am I not worth it? Or are only you worthy of his sacrifice?